Funding for Scholastic Scrimmage is provided by the Air Products Foundation. The foundation is supported by donations from Air Products and Chemicals Incorporated as a charitable organization whose contributions provide support for educational, cultural, health, and community programs in the Lehigh Valley. The series is also made possible by Channel 39 School Services participating districts. WLVT-TV presents Scholastic Scrimmage, a weekly program featuring teams from Lehigh Valley High Schools in a contest of quick recall. Tonight's teams are from Wilson High School and Penargil High School. Your host for Scholastic Scrimmage is Harry Price. Good evening and welcome to Scholastic Scrimmage. We'll meet the teams and the coaches, then we'll begin the contest. From Wilson High School, Phil Trock is a sophomore. Don Leidick is a senior. The captain, Keith Kreitz, is a sophomore. J.C. Lansing, a sophomore. And the coach is Gary Lawback, teacher of English. <laughs> From Penn Argyle High School, Tony Sorrell, a junior. Captain Eric Smith is a senior. Michael Roth, a senior. Kevin Blees is a junior. And the coach is Agnes Anderson, teacher of mathematics. <laughs> Channel 39 is pleased to announce that at the conclusion of the series, after the championship contest, the Air Products Foundation will present a $1,500 scholarship award to the championship high school and a $750 award to the runner-up high school. These two awards will be given in the names of the two Scholastic Scrimmage teams. Remember, the answers to the questions on Scholastic Scrimmage require rapid recall of factual information and aren't necessarily indi indicative of academic training. The rules for the contest are as follows. On toss-up questions, you will be given 10 points for each correct answer. 10 points will be deducted, however, for an incorrect response. If you answer incorrectly, then the opposing team will have an opportunity to answer without penalty. They'll receive 5 points for a correct answer in this situation. Each correct answer to a toss-up question gives you the opportunity to answer a bonus question without penalty. Team members may confer only on the bonus questions, and the answers to these questions should be given to me by the two team captains. A buzzer will signal the end of the contest. If it sounds while a question is being asked, the game stops. If the buzzer goes off while you are answering, however, you will be permitted to complete your answer, but no bonus questions will be asked. Are there any questions? If not, we'll begin with our first toss-up. We're preparing for a 15-point bonus. I want you to name the capital city of Ireland. Wilson, Phil. Oh, no. Uh, no response. No response from Phil. Over to Penn Argyle. Kevin. Dublin. Dublin. It is. You got five on the rebounds. 15-point bonus for you and the team, Eric. How well do you know our neighbor to the north, Canada? It has ten provinces and two territories. The two territories of the Northwest and the Yukon. Two of the provinces are Ontario and Quebec. For five points each, name any three of the remaining eight Canadian provinces. Eric. Alberta, Saskatchewan, and British Columbia. You have three, Manitoba, New Brunswick, Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, or the others, and you have your 15-point bonus. Going for a 10-pointer. Toss-up, multiple choice, an eclectic, E-C-L-E-C-T-I-C, -E -E an eclectic writer is which one of the following? Would it be a scientific writer, a careful writer, witty writer, or Penargo, Eric? The fourth choice. The fourth choice, uh, selective or selecting writer, it is, eclectic. Bonus 10-pointer again for Eric and team. Who wrote the famous collection of love, poetry, sonnets from the Portuguese? Eric? Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Correct. Uh, the wife of Robert Browning. Uh, she wrote those as a tribute to their love. Here's your toss-up, going for a 10-point bonus. Practically all common explosives are made through the use of what strong acid? Wilson Keith. Nitric. Correct. It's nitric acid is known as aquafortis. And uh, that means, in Latin, strong acid. Here's your 10-point bonus. We move along to two questions in the category of genetics. First one. The DNA molecule is the root of all genetic transferring in living things. For five points, for what do the initials DNA stand? This is a bonus for Keith and team. Keith? 
dioxy dioxy ribonucleic acid. Judges have indicated that they will accept it. It's deoxy ribonucleic acid. The second one coiled in the chromosomes of all living cells. DNA consists of only a handful of chemical building blocks, a sugar, a phosphate, and four bases. For an additional five points, name any one of these four bases. Keith? Cytosine. You are correct. Adenine, guanine, and thymine are the other three. Next, toss up. In which two quadrants is the sine function negative? Wilson, Keith. Third and fourth. Correct, Keith. We're going to be on the monitor. It's in mathematics. Given the values that you have there, and uh, you see four and two along the left, and three and five on the right side of the triangle, and four and a half is that other line, four and a half inches. I want to know how long is the segment PQ? It would be nine, nine inches. There are two similar triangles there. I won't go into it, and that's how you'd figure it out. Going for a ten-point bonus. Here's your toss-up. Name the highest known waterfall in the world. Angel Falls in Venezuela is about 3,212 feet in height. Angel Falls. Here's your toss-up. Going for a ten-pointer. Correct the double negative in the following. I cannot help but think that he was a liar. Again, I gave you, I cannot help but think that he was a liar. It has a double negative. You would have to change it as follows. You change but think to thinking. I can't help thinking that he was a liar. Toss up. Why don't you listen to the excerpts in music? We just heard a portion of the famous Tchaikovsky composition. I want you to name it. It's the 1812 Overture, 1812 Overture. Another toss-up. Name the component of the atomic nucleus which contributes one unit of mass but has no charge. Penargel, Eric. A neutron. Correct. Bonus 10-pointer, Eric, for you and the team. I'll read the chemical formulas for two important chemical compounds. And for five points each, you give me the names by which uh, chemists most frequently refer to these compounds. Here's the first formula. CaCO3. Eric? Calcium carbonate. Correct. CH3COOH. No response. It would be acetic acid, the simplest of the fatty acids. Toss up, going for a 10 pointer. What animal did the Europeans introduce, introduce that changed the economy and life of the Plains Indians from agriculture to honey? Wilson, Dawn. Horses. Correct, Dawn. Here's your bonus 10 pointer, Keith. I'll identify two American vice presidents for five points each, named the presidents with whom each served. First, John Tyler. Keith? Andrew Jackson. Incorrect. It would be William Henry Harrison. He succeeded William Henry Harrison on Harrison's death in 1841. Second one, Nelson Rockefeller. Keith? Ford. Ford. Gerald Ford is correct. We got five out of a possible ten. Going for a ten-point bonus. Toss up. Name the poet and playwright whose works include A Child's Christmas in Wales. It was Dylan Thomas, uh, British poet of the mid-20th century. Toss-up. 
What is the standard term for the phenomenon in which a particle-antiparticle pair, such as an electron and a positron, destroy one another? Wilson, Phil. Annihilation. Correct. Pair annihilation, in-flight, at rest annihilation. Bonus 10-pointer. Radiation fog, or ground fog, occurs on calm, clear nights when moist air near the surface is cooled by radiation. For 10 points, give me the standard name for the type of fog that war forms when warm, moist air moves horizontally over a cooler surface. It's advection fog, A-D-V-E-C-T-I-O-N, advection fog. Going for a 15-point bonus, toss up. In a trapezoid, the median is 9 inches long, and one base is 5 inches long. How long is the other base? Penarjul, Eric. 13. 13 is correct. Bonus, 15-point visual bonus on the monitor. I want you to look at the figure there on the monitor, and for five points apiece, I want you to classify uh, some things for me, and I want you to make this assumption. Assume that EOP and DOX are straight lines and that YO is perpendicular to DX. Now, number one, what kind of angle is angle POD? Eric? And obtuse. Correct. What kind of angle is G-O-Y? Eric? And acute. Correct. Finally, the adjacent angles, DOG and GOX, add up to 180 degrees. Besides being adjacent, what relationship do they have? Eric? They're supplementary. Correct. Again, you've got your 15. Going for a 10-point bonus. Toss-up. From world history and for 10 points, I want you to name this notorious character. A book based on the theory that maintenance of power justifies deceit and treachery in government Wilson, Dawn. Machiavelli. Correct. That book is known as The Prince, or is titled The Prince. What Italian statesman wrote it? Niccolo Machiavelli is correct. Here's your bonus. Ten-pointer, Keith. For five points each, name the South American countries, which have these cities as their capitals. First one, La Paz. Keith. Bolivia. Correct. Asuncion. Keith. Venezuela. No, it'd be Paraguay. You got five out of a possible ten. Multiple choice. Going for a 15-point bo bonus. Here's your toss-up. It's multiple choice. Which of the following prefixes is opposite in meaning to the prefix sub, S-U-B? Would it be anti, A-N-T-E, R-E, super, S-U-P, Penarjo, Eric? Super. Super, it is. Bonus, 15-pointer. A literature bonus for five points each. Identify the author of these three operations. Uh, operations. Quotations. First quotation. This above all, to thine own self be true. Eric. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. It's said by Polonius in Hamlet. Second one. From each according to his ability, to each according to his needs. Eric? Marx. Paul Marx is correct. Am I my brother's keeper? Eric. Peter? No, it was Cain after he killed Abel. After he killed Abel. Here's your toss up going for a 10 point bonus. It's on the monitor, it's in the arts. Name the German painter and, and engraver who lived from 1471 to 1528 and who's especially remembered for the magnificent woodcuts he produced, an example of which you're seeing on the monitor. Incidentally, this woodcut bears his characteristic monogram. It's Albrecht Dürer. Albrecht Dürer. We're going to take a halftime break now. The scored half is 100 for Penargel and 60 for Wilson. <laughs> Phil Trock, we 
ask our contestants during the second round to tell us about their extracurricular activities and to tell us something also about their plans for the future. Would you begin? I'm in the Wilson High School Band, Senior Chorus, the Jazz Band, the Pennsylvania Youth Honors Concert Band, and the Penn Jersey Academic League. I plan to attend Pennsylvania State University majoring in aerospace engineering. Thank you, Phil. Don Lighting. Um, I'm in drama, debate, I'm head spokesperson for SAD, I'm editor-in-chief of our school newspaper, I'm in the Penn Jersey Academic League, National Honor Society, I'm a member of the Northampton County Alcohol and Drug Advisory Board, I teach kindergarten CCD at my church, and I plan to attend Millersville University to double major in special ed and elementary ed. Thank you, Dawn. Captain Keith Kreitz. I'm a member of the wrestling squad, I'm a member of the Penn Jersey Academic League, I'm a staff member of the Northampton County Junior Conservation School, and I plan to attend John Hopkins University to study medicine. Thank you, Keith. J.C. Lansing. I'm on the boys' tennis team. I was in a finalist in the debate team. I'm in the Penn Jersey Academic League. I'm in drama, SAD, the Wilson Band, and the Senior Chorus, and I plan to be a writer, a free freelance journalist. Okay, thank you, uh, and thanks to all of the Wis Wilson contestants. We're going to go over to Penn Argyle now with Tony Sorrell. I'm a member of the National Honor Society, the track team, the Senior Chorus, the student council, and I've served as class president for the last three years. I plan to attend college for pre-law. Thank you, Tony. Captain Eric Smith. I'm in the National Honor Society, various bands at Penardsville. I'm the editor-in-chief of the yearbook. I'm a member of the executive committee of the SAD chapter, the drug and alcohol committee. I'm a national merit finalist, and I plan to attend Lehigh University to major in mathematics. Thank you, Eric. Michael Roth. Um, I'm in the band, chorus, orchestra at the high school. I'm president of the SAD chapter, and I'm also a representative for the Drug and Alcohol Council of the Lehigh Valley. I'm in honor society, and I attend to either I tend to attend either Moravian or Juniata College in fall to major in uh, history, social sciences, and education. Thank you, Michael. And finally, Kevin Blees. I've been in student council. I've written for the school, school newspaper, The Green Echo. I've been in ski club for two years. I am the treasurer for church's youth group, and I work for part-time at Vet Med Company. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks to Penn Argel. Again, the score at half is 100 for Penn Argel, and it's 60 for Wilson High School. Let's begin the second half with the toss-up. We're preparing for a 10-point bonus. It is a lymphokine, a substance that activates the natural killer cells of the immune system. For 10 points, give me the name of this drug, whose abbrevi abbreviation is IL-2, and which is part of a controversial experimental treatment for cancer. It's interleukin-2. Interleukin-2. Another toss-up. This time we're looking at a 10-point bonus. This question concerns a man of letters who died in May 1986 at the age of 71. Name the American journalist who won a Pulitzer Prize for general nonfiction with his book, The Making of the President, 1960. Theodore H. White. Another toss-up. This type of poem has three lines with a total of only 17 syllables. For 10 points, what is this Japanese verse? Wilson, Phil. Haiku. Correct. What is this Japanese verse form called? Your bonus, Keith and team. 10 pointer. For five points apiece, name the two books of the Old Testament which bear a woman's name. Keith. Ruth and Esther. Correct. You've got your 10. On the monitor, mathematics. For what value or values of x does the absolute value of 6 minus x equal to 6? Wilson, Phil. 0 and 12. Correct. Bonus again, 10-pointer for Wilson. It's a bonus question to test your statistics vocabulary. For five points each, give me the standard terms for the following. The first, in a set of values, that value which occurs with greatest frequency. Keith. Median? No, it is not. It's mode, M-O-D-E. Second, in an ordered set of n values, the middle entry if n is odd, or half the sum of the middle entries, two middle entries, if n is even. Keith? Average? No, that would have been the median. The median. 
We'll go on to another toss-up. For ten points, name the African nation whose capital city is called Monrovia. Wilson, Keith. Rwanda. Incorrect. Over to Penargil. Kevin. Chad. Not Chad. It's Liberia. The Republic of Liberia. Going for a 10-point bonus. Toss up. Multiple choice. Give the definition. The definition of magnanimity from the following. Nobility of spirit, exaggeration, enormous size, or optimism. Wilson, Phil. Enormous size. Incorrect. Over to Penn Argyle. Michael. Optimism. Not optimism. It's nobility of spirit, generosity. Again, magnanimity. Toss up. Going for a ten pointer. Give me the standard six letter term that refers to English farmers with small land holdings. <coughs> Yeoman. Another toss up. A man once shouted, uh, shouted, a man once shouted rubbish during one of former Prime Minister Harold Wilson's speeches. Wilson imperturbably answered, Sir, We'll get to your area of special interest in just a moment. For ten points, what word describes a member of the audience who impolitely interrupts a speaker in the same way? Wilson, J.C. Heckler. Correct. Bonus ten-pointer, Keith and team. Multiple choice. In her sleepwalking scene, Lady Macbeth reveals which one of the following? Her distrust of Banquo? Her suspicion of Macduff? Her suffering for her crimes? Or her pride in her husband. Keith? Her suffering for her crimes. Correct. I want you to name this compound. It's a toss-up. Name this compound. K-N-O-2. Wilson, Phil. Potassium nitrite. Correct. Bonus for Wilson. It's a physics bonus question. Suppose that an object has a temperature of a negative 10 degrees Celsius. Negative 10 degrees Celsius. For five points each, give me its temperature to the nearest whole degree on the Kelvin scale and on the Fahrenheit scale. Keith. Um, Kelvin is 263 degrees. And it's 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, he said for five points apiece, I'll give you one, 263 Kelvins, actually. Fahrenheit is 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's your toss-up, going for a ten-point bonus. It's on the monitor. Consider the equation you see there, y is equal to the quantity x plus one cubed. For ten points, find the real value of x for which y is equal to a negative eight. Penarjo, Michael. Negative three. Correct. Bonus ten pointer. The subject of this particular bonus question is math. Each part is worth five points. First, the only even prime number is what? Eric. Two. Correct. The first four prime numbers are what? Eric. Two, three, five, seven. You are correct again. You've got your ten points. I think Wilson is passing out because they thought that was a little easy, but uh, we'll go on. Toss up. Going for a 15-point bonus. Within what cabinet department is the Patents and Trademark Office administered? It's the uh, Department of Commerce. Another toss up. Looking at a 10-point bonus. One of the names for this animal is new. For 10 points, give me another name which means wild beast. In Afrikaans. Wilson, Keith. Wildebeest. Correct. Bonus. Multiple choice, ten pointer. Why man he doth bestride the narrow world like a colossus refers to which one of the following? Alexander the Great, Napoleon, Hitler, or Julius Caesar? Keith. Julius Caesar. And it's from Shakespeare's Julius Caesar. Correct. Toss up, going for a ten pointer. Name the river which flows past the cities of Wichita, Tulsa, and Little Rock. Wilson, Keith. The Mississippi. Incorrect. Over to Penn Argyle. Michael. The Missouri. Not the Missouri. It's the Arkansas River, which is a tributary of the Mississippi.
Another toss-up. What musical form developed under a pope who died? Penarjul, Eric. The Gregorian chant? Correct. He died in 604 AD. Pope Gregory the Great. Pope from 590 to 604. Bonus 10-pointer. The part Milton coined a word meaning lawless disorder from a combination of two Greek words meaning all the demons. What's the word? <coughs> Pandemonium. Toss up, going for a 10 pointer. In August 1987, Great Basin National Park was dedicated as the nation's 49th national park. For 10 points, in what state is Great Basin National Park located? No response from either team. We'll go to another toss-up. Oh, I'm sorry. It's in the state of Nevada, Great Basin National Park. Going for a 10-pointer. The author of Ethan Fromm was quoted as saying that there are two ways of spreading light, to be the candle and the mirror that reflects it. Give me the name of the writer. Edith Wharton, one of the country's most uh, distinguished writers of the early 20th century. Toss up. He lived in exile as an anti-Nazi during World War II. Later, he became mayor of West Berlin and served for five years as chancellor of West Germany. That's the final buzzer. The final score is 130 for Penn Argel, 115 for Wilson. Don, I, I think you've trained these young fellows pretty well. I, I have great respect for you to be there with three sophomore young men, but I think it means that Phil, Keith, and JC are going to be outstanding in the next two years. Don, good luck in college. Penn Argel, we congratulate you fellows and ladies, or lady, and we expect to see you back here again in the third round in uh, late April. It's going to be against the winner of next week's contest, which is between Moravian Academy and Parkland High School. This is Harry Price. Thank you for being with us, and good night. Scholastic Scrimmage is provided by the Air Products Foundation. The foundation is supported by donations from Air Products and Chemicals Incorporated as a charitable organization whose contributions provide support for educational, cultural, health, and community programs in the Lehigh Valley.